I Joe, a Joe Lacob. Okay. This is about Joe Lacob. Right. So I would I I just don't think Clay's coming back. The more I think about what he said uh, the day after the season was over, there wasn't a lot of talk of Warrior for Life. Mm -hmm. I just I I think I think he may be a casualty. Uh, Wiggins. Yep. See, I, I don't think Wiggins will be here next year. Kaminga. I have a yes for Kaminga. I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah, and I, I don't do this just for the sake of saying what you don't think, but God darn it, I'm going to say yes, Evan. Yes, yeah, he'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But that, that bothers me because I said yes to Wiggins, too. One of them are going to be gone. God, and oh. I, I don't know why, how it's going to be Wiggins when Kaminga can fetch you the most. And I love J.K. Steiny. But he's got a higher upside. Right, but is that, is that going to be 2026, 2025? Like when? And I think I'm ready to, to, to give that away for something I believe that can help Steph Curry and the gang get us back to the promised land sooner. And I could be wrong. But that, that's the risk of doing business. Give me somebody else. Um, Moses Moody. Yeah, he's, he's here. The reason he's here is because he could be your starting two guard next year. Man. Yeah, I think uh, if... And this, this, is, this is the way I like to always phrase this, Goo. I don't like to say, well, what do you think? I'd like to say, you have to put money on it. So if you What's have up, to put Al? money on it, yeah. I'm saying Chris Paul III won't be here. Got you. I don't think Wiggins is going to be here. Hey, I think, you know what's scary about I, Wiggins I think, not being here? I don't think Clay Thompson's going to be right. here. I think Draymond will be here, and I think Kaminga will be here. So but we're going to choose think, Kaminga's future over Wiggins. Eh, but you can bring them both yeah, back if you want. What scares me about that is Wiggins is not going to fetch you as much as Kaminga could. Nope. But Wiggins is more of who he is than Kaminga is. And Kaminga's well, one only guy problem also. I have with him, and I've said this, it's a Spider-Man meme, when he plays against guys his size with that athleticism, you could see where he needs to grow and get in the lab. But if we're talking about, you know, tell of the tape, shout out Devin Haney who took an L, shout out Ryan Garcia standing over the weekend. I love hey, Andrew out. Wiggins is more polished a more polished basketball player right now than Jonathan Kaminga, and he. I of just, course he is. But it's that. What Wiggins are we going to get? Is it the? It's never been a basketball issue. It's a motor okay. issue. What about so, this? All right. You know the Wiggins you're going to get. Give it the Wiggins for the last four years. That's the Wiggins you're going to get. Yeah. I mean, it just is. Yeah, he'll be good at times, and he'll disappear um at, at other times yeah. but uh, you know that that's the you know that's the other deal that that uh dunleavy's gonna have to figure out and that is kaminga might be able to get you the other problem is coming you're gonna have to tack somebody along nah. with kaminga well, no you can't just trade kaminga because be he only Moody. makes seven million i, I mean then you're really but it could be but you can't tra trade kaminga unless He's attached to a twenty million dollar player to get a twenty plus million dollar player. Like if you if you say Kaminga and give me the twenty million, Kaminga and Moody, they make fourteen fifteen million between them, or thirteen and fourteen million between them. You got to find a thirteen or fourteen million dollar player, and those impact players tend to be up in the twenty plus millions. So that would lead you to believe oh, it'd wow. be more like Wiggins okay. I, I and got somebody one more else. Yeah. So we keep talking about money. Brandon Ayuk, who deserves it, if you ask me, and Clay Thompson, if you ask me. So you're <laughs> telling me, Steiny, Jonathan Kaminga is going to get paid or could get paid. And I'm not d too short. The great rapper had a, a saying, don't hate the play or hate the game, Steiny. So Ayuk could essentially, excuse me, Kaminga could get $30 million and the Warriors would be paying for what he's going to do in the future, right? That's a risk in that because well, you know he's not where – you see all the potential in the world, but if you, if you give him that, that money, it's going to be – we're betting on the come. We're betting. Well, what's he he's worth more than seven right now. You oh, think. no doubt. No okay. doubt about it. So. But he's going to try to bring the house down and rightfully – but my thing is – you're not paying for what he's already done. You're paying for what he's going to blossom well, I mean, into. But eighty percent of that money. But that's just decisions teams always have to make. Like you know, Orlando's going right. to have to figure out Boncaro. Yeah. 
And but my whole point make- in that, if you were to shop Kaminga, you don't actually know what's going out the door. Most of what's going out the door is his ceiling and potential. Wiggins, you already know what he can do on a good day. You know what I mean? You know he can create his own shot. You know he can guard the other team's best player or attempt to. Yeah, he can get better rebounded. You know he might shoot 40, 45% from three in a month or months. It's like, there's just more tangible evidence from Andrew Wiggins as a basketball player than Jonathan Kaminga, but wow. yet that, Wiggins I mean, is in his own way because of his psyche, and you don't know when he's going to be ready to play upstairs. But as far as... I mean, I would never... I, I would never... Like, the only reason is because one guy's 29 and one guy's 21. Like, I am not, like, if you're telling me we know what Wiggins is, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's why I'm never moving off Kaminga if the choice is, like, I mean, if you would say right now, Wiggins, I got to give him a better chance to be better than Wiggins when it's at 30 years old at this yeah. point. And he's got, for my he's got argument, more of a motor. Yeah, it's not even an argument, but the reality is I would ask you, you sure about that with the 2022 Wiggins, but that's not fair because that looks like an anomaly. I mean, you can continue to hold on to things from two years ago and and – Move forward with it, but I like that's well, a, to me. Time, I hold on to a lot, but yeah, it's I'm a long you. two years. I mean, that's two personal leaves ago for Andrew Wiggins, and it's two years ago for the Stars. Uh, Bobby Marks, uh, Evan, uh, was talking about Kaminga's value and extension range. Let's take a listen to what Bobby Marks thinks uh, Kaminga's ballpark is. I think his number is probably in that, in that 5 for 130 range. I don't think he's a max player, which would be 5 for 225 or 5 for 2, yeah, 5 for 225. But I do think he's probably a 25, um, probably 25 to $30 million player um, because I do think the upside is there um, to be a, you know, a top starter slash all-star type player this in, in the league. Hmm. Right, I, mean, I get that. I get it, Stani. And man, the one thing to get paid. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it it would seem like a <laughs> they no would brain. be doing what the Niners if they don't give Ayuk his money. What they would be. I mean, I know it's a business, but you'd really be stepping on the pedal of that. Having Ayuk come play on his last year in a sport where it could be over in any second, and doing that to Kaminga, right? That he's not going to be in the right frame of mind. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, are you? Re- here's the other thing that just from a practical standpoint, yeah, I guess the Warriors can kick the can down the road, and they can pay Clay Thompson twenty or twenty five, and they can re-sign Kaminga for thirty, knowing that doesn't kick in till right. year after next. Okay. But you know, you don't have to make a move then. You're not going to have Curry at sixty, Wiggins at twenty five, Green at twenty five, Kaminga at thirty, and Clay at twenty. You, like, that is absolutely not going to happen. So let me start out just random. Hashtag random. You said something earlier, and I didn't. It just resonated with me right now. You're so sure right now after this season was done, in its totality, that if I asked you who the second best Golden State Warrior last year was, it would, and I'm not going, no shade of Kaminga. You would say definitely Jonathan Kaminga? No. Oh, okay. I thought that's what you were like. That's the problem said, that Joe Makeup said has. Fans oh, okay. halfway right, through the okay. year, All right. we're talking about Kaminga like he was the second. Like best that's the problem. The it flo- I don't know who who's the second best warrior. Yeah, let's go to a uh, city boy. Our guy, uh, city boys uh, on the line. What's up, city? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm good, fellas. I'm good, fellas. I had to take a week off. After after uh, after the yeah. way the season ended, I had to <laughs> decompress a little bit and think about it, man. It's, it was sad, you know. I texted my son right after that loss, and I said, you know, because his entire life the Warriors have been a winner, you know. Right. And I kind of told him, you know, end of an era, you know. And he, you know, I said, well, it's been a fun. It's been fun. I mean, I'll be honest. Like I've, I've loved every minute of this. Um, I do. I would love to see them retool and get back. And you know, as fans, we're always going to hold out hope. But it, boy, it doesn't look. You know, the league is strong right now. I mean, these teams yeah. are good out there. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys saw the rumor about Carl Anthony Towns and the Warriors, or he might be interested in coming here. I mean, that that had helped. 
um, obviously, but I don't think I don't see how you get them. I mean, what do, what do they want from us other than Kaminga? So I don't I don't know how that works. But you know, the, the funny thing is with Wiggins. So Clay and Wiggins are very similar at this point in their careers. They're just too inconsistent. I mean, think about last year in the Lakers series. Clay had that one thirty point game and the, and it, he looked great. And then he shot us out of the series. And I mean, I, I'll be honest: when Clay's bad, he loses the game for you. Like he kills you. So I, I, I just don't see like I, listening to to Kerr and and Dre and Steph. It sounds like he's coming back. I mean, I, I don't think there's any two yeah. ways about it. Uh, Clay will be back next year. But uh, I would look at a guy. You know, I, I think Dallas. What's his name? Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is kind of falling out of favor there. I think the Warriors have to look at players like that that they can actually get a hold of. Somebody that can shoot the three ball. So the Warriors have to add shooting. And, and a guy like that would be perfect because he doesn't demand the rock. He doesn't need it in his hands. And, you know, and he can shoot. So they got to surround Steph with some shooters if they're going to compete. Probably keep Draymond around. And, um, well, yeah, Carl Anthony Towns. And, and, you know, there's a kid from Princeton. There's a, there's a point guard from Princeton. We really need a backup point guard. Um, I would take a look at this kid, Lee, from Princeton. Um, he's a real nice little player, and I think he's going to be a second-round pick. So I might try and trade Wiggins for a second-round pick and Hardaway Jr. Kind of, that's, yeah, and the, that's the other thing thinking. about that, yeah. that I know who you're talking about, that guard from Princeton. If he doesn't make the team, he can go on to the Warriors analytics department uh, right away. No, I'll give you two. I like me some Tim Hardaway Jr., but but City Boy, if you're telling me the Warriors need to be more consistent, he's consistent at being inconsistent. And I don't know, maybe that's because he's playing with Luca, who just dribble, 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 dribble. But I don't know, Stani. But the cat thing, I wonder if Dub Nation is re because we got a lot. I caught hell. Do you want Carl Anthony Towns? Now that this season culminated in a non playoff berth, what? Does Cat look so bad now? Would he look so bad? I, I, for he the can life give of you me, something that for the you, life of me, I just think it's a joke the way we talk about Carl like Anthony he's Towns, like he's available. Uh, They're one of the best teams in the uh, in the Western Conference. They're up one zero. I mean, I guess he could be available, but you know, he's twenty eight. He's in his prime. The, the Minnesota Timberwolves are poised to go further than they've ever gone before if they can win a round. I mean, I, I guess we can talk about Carl Anthony Towns. Like, here's the other thing. I guess when we, real quick, Stanley, when we talk well, about well, him, let's talk he about gives it. you some body punches. Okay. I know he shoots threes with the best of them. $50 million next year. Well, that's a problem. So how do you even, so, okay, $50 million. Would the Would the Timberwolves want, Draymond I, I and was, Wiggins? Just, we'll get, hey, but, I'm laughing, but... You I'm can't a, trade both those guys. Uh, First of all, I don't think they like each other. So I don't think the team that would trade for Draymond and Wiggins well, would Chris want both Paul of them. Chris Paul and Dre didn't like each other. That worked out. Well, I mean... They didn't I, really like each other. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm, ju I'm just... I'm dreaming. I'm just telling you what I think the team needs. And I love TJD, but Stani, when you got a dog down there that can, that, you know, that can get you some scorn, it alleviates it. The, the Warriors are a one-trick pony right now. And we play that... Like Carl Anthony Towns? Yeah. Just you like, called him a dog? He can be. Man. When he's got it going. And when he plays the Warriors, he's a dog. I'm just Not saying. Not D-O-G, D-A-W-G. I know, but most people Give would say he's soft. Give me some down there and, and dunk on somebody's ass. That's what we need. I'd, I'd rather have Gobert, I think. Oh, no way. Yeah. He's the garbage man. He's got to – his stuff is predicated on what you That's, do or don't exactly. do. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I, don't, I don't – I don't. I ain't mad at Gobert. We need to get no, better defensively. That, like that's the other thing. That to me is the rat on the table. Well, we need is to get the... better bo on both sides. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's the rat. Uh, eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero is the number. Steiny and Guru with you. We're talking about the Golden State Warriors and um, what they're going to do this off season uh, with Jonathan Kaminga. Do they re-sign Jonathan Kaminga? Uh, do they bring back Clay Thompson? Uh, we're just trying to speculate as opposed to uh, what, uh, you know, refer to what the Warriors are going to do. Oh, man. Hey, um, let me throw this at Abby man. real quick because I wanted to do dog. I, I wanted, to, but I want you, you in here too in terms of, uh, in terms of, it's a baseball thing. You there, Evan? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, it, and, and just.